Hi everybody, welcome back to SummerSlam and welcome back to Prison Architect where we are um, going to lock open this jail door so that these workers can install lights in the new workshop uh, where hopefully we will get our license plate um, workshop set up today so that we can start doing some of this stuff. I think some of these guys have to attend classes um, to learn how to do this stuff like safety or whatever. But I'm pretty sure all of that happens in the actual workshop. It's like carpentry or workshop safety or some shit like that anyway. Um, so we'll see. Well, we're going to make the workshop pretty big. Uh, we need a workshop saw, a workshop press, and a table at least in the workshop to get it uh, up and running. Um, we're probably going to uh, not use all this space for the workshop. So we'll have like a staff door over here which leads into possibly some other areas. Uh, like, we could probably have something here. I don't know what. Uh, and then another hallway here for something else that can go here. And then something else that can go here. But like I said, I'm not too sure what that is right now. But we will put a wall and a staff door up. Just for now, anyway. So it's not going to cost too much. And we don't want anyone getting into where that generator is. At least not yet, anyway. Um, we have two hours left of no weights, uh, or, yeah, weight benches, sorry, being allowed in the yards. Um, this is, um, the one that came in, uh, during the Great Explosion and Fire of 2016. Uh, I don't know if you remember that happening, but, um, the timing on that one was terrible. And, um, the mayor phoned up and was like, Hey, can you, uh, remove all the weight benches? I know you're in the middle of, like, a fucking huge catastrophe, but if you could just go ahead and remove all the weight benches because some reporters are complaining about them, that would be great. So, of course, we went ahead and we did it. And, um, that went on for, like, 20 calendar years or whatever. And now we're finally at a point where, uh, it's not so bad. Uh, it's, like, an hour left. And then we should be able to get weight benches back in the yards. Cool story, huh? Anyway. Um, visitation rooms, um, it's much the same, really. Uh, something happened. The mayor phoned up and said, let's remove the visitation rooms. And we still have 57 hours of that one left, which is just fucking terrible. Holy shit. Um, right. So we have cell block D, uh, which is, uh, 10,000 advanced, which is good. And raising our prisoner capacity to double what it is now. We have, uh, capacity for 100. We'd have to raise it to 200. Um, we got long-term investment, which, uh, probably worth doing kind of soon. We have to pay 5,000 bucks in advance, uh, and then we get a 16,000 completion bonus after some amount of time. I can't remember exactly how long, but I think it's much longer than, uh, what's left for the visitation rooms. So we could always hold back on that. I think let's go for the, um prison manufacturing facility we're going to get 10 grand for producing 30 license plates which will also sell as well uh so we might as well just go for that and then see how we go all right so objects we need uh saws it's electrical and it's high powered there's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to get killed using these things they cost 1500 as well i think we can Fucking Calvin, seriously? What the hell? The media moved on to something else. And the bill banning weights benches from the yards have been repealed. Feel free to reinstall them if you wish. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do that, actually. Uh, we should have a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we have 15 of them just sitting there doing nothing. We had them all lovingly um, arranged out here for people to use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for maximum security and then we want um six out here i guess i can't even remember where they were like one two three four five six seven eight okay maximum security get one less than medium security anyway uh back to this we got the saw bench um let's just start with two for now i guess i think two is probably okay uh, we need this workshop press as well. It's electrical and high-powered. Uh, we could probably put this one here and this one here. Go with two of those as well. And carpenter tables. Uh, God, it's like L-shaped, so it's like kind of awkward. I guess, like, let's put these on the other side, like down here and then like maybe here as well. And we also have to make sure that we've got power coming to these things as well. So we're going to have to probably do that, that... And I don't think the uh, table itself needs power. Or am I wrong about that? Am I wrong about that? 
I don't know. Maybe not. This is electrical, and this is electrical, but that is not. Okay, perfect. Excellent. All right, so once they deliver this equipment and hook it up to the uh, West Coast grid, uh, we could probably do with actually having a couple more capacitors as well while we've got the money. Might as well just add like three more just to improve things a little bit. And we can probably set this stuff to normal now as well because we don't want just anyone turning up here at any time. We certainly don't want any members of the Mafia who are currently operating inside SummerSlam to have free access to the workshop because those guys are crazy. They'll turn up here and I'm sure that they will run somebody's head through this or possibly this or maybe just dismember them on this. Uh, and that's not what we're all about here at SummerSlam. We want our prisoners to stay alive. Uh, and the reason we want them to stay alive primarily is so that they can make license plates. Uh, because that is how we're going to make a lot of money in this place. Um, and a lot of money, of course, means that... Oh my god. I think we should probably station a guy in here. If we haven't already. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to station a guy in the workshop. And this guy that's in the workshop is going to be able to open up all the doors and stuff for people. Because fuck doing it, like, manually. Jesus Christ. All right. While that stuff is being delivered, we are going to use uh, our last um, little bits of money to also make a couple more cells here in max sec. So that there's plenty of space for people to uh, be promoted up in their um, criminal careers. To maximum security, because currently we are housing a staggering 28 maximum security prisoners. Uh, bearing in mind, none of these guys came in as maximum security. All of these guys came in as normal security and were such assholes that they had to be promoted up. Unbelievable. We have so many people in SummerSlam right now. It's crazy. And we have lots of extra power down here, too. What a recovery. I mean, we had a, like, there was a time where I thought SummerSlam was done. And now, look. We're, we're good. We're good on power. We've got like a nice power setup. It's all separate and stuff. Uh, we could probably do with like a backup water pump station at some point as well. But it's, there's no like, there's no massive rush to do that. Um, we're going to schedule some work during sleep time for these walls to be removed as well. Which I think could probably happen right now. We're going to remove these walls. Um, you know what? We're going to remove all these walls. We need to remove these walls. This wall. And this wall as well. So we're going to get in there and do it. And then we can start making some more cells. Uh, which is uh, always a nice thing, right? Uh, more more um, little sardine um, tins to pack these guys into like sardines. Uh, and then we will also cut down this room so that it's like that. And then we will remove uh, any other walls that we need to. Add walls that we need to. And we should be good. Excellent. Uh, this is going to have to be dismantled and moved, which means we're probably going to have to hook up all of the phones to it again as well. Which is kind of nuts, but um, it's got to be done. Is this guy sitting in a chair right now, or is he just tired because he's standing up at the thing? I'm not even sure. Anyway, uh, all the uh, workmen, I guess, are like held up down here. Hopefully, they're making their way up here because I don't really want this construction work to happen while all of these guys are awake. Look, some of them are starting to wake up now, too. Like, who's this guy? Oh, yeah, it's Adam Beckwith. He's 21 years old. Aggravated vehicle theft and aggravated burglary. Crap, he is in the right place. Imagine that guy still being loose out there on the streets of Metro City. You know, aggravatingly um, stealing vehicles and also um, burglarizing people and stuff. What's this? There are no canteens accessible? Oh, no. Okay, I see. It's fine. They should be able to get through here. That's fine. All right, so let us go with this concrete wall like this now. Uh, we also want a concrete wall that's going to come all the way up to around here. Once that stupid phone tap is gone. Holy shit, it takes forever for him to dismantle the phone tap. Look at him, the guard is still like frantically tapping the phone as well. He's just like, oh, it must every minute count. Every second of tapped phone means we're saving lives. Such a job's worth. All right, finally, he's left. Okay, we need to make sure that we put that back, though. Uh, it comes under, does it come under utilities? No, it doesn't. It comes under here, I think. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, so this is the phone tap. I'm gonna set it up here again. Uh, and then we're gonna have to reconnect it, which is a bit of a ball ache, but there you go. Is this done? 
Oh, this isn't done. There's just like this big gaping hole in the side of the prison right now. <laughs> Jesus. It's almost 6 o'clock in the morning, too. Uh, it looks like people are getting their new prison uniforms for the day. These are the ones that are freshly uh, pressed and ironed, courtesy of the uh, cleaning crew of the prison. I don't know if we need some more. I, I mean, I know like there's a bunch of guys working in the laundry and stuff during the day for at least four hours, but... I wonder if we could just do with, like, some salary genders as well. What's this? What's going on here? Oh, we need an actual table as well, of course. That's why this isn't up and running yet. All right, so the actual table is for the finished product, right? This is where it goes. Um, so we're going to put it, like, right by the door. We want guys to put the finished license plates on these tables, okay? And then we'll move them to the export area to sell as well, which is going to be great. We should designate a forestry area at some point, too, but that can wait. All right. Let's get rid of these bins because uh, they're in the way. And then we're going to also preemptively run some small pipes up here to hook up the toilets, which are going to be installed. And our capacity should shoot up uh, a couple more cells. Holy shit. Max sec is looking um, far different than it used to. Let's um, not have these guys deployed, uh, but instead let's have a patrol here, which goes all the way up here. We're also going to need a patrol here too. Okay, we'll have that patrol there. And then in terms of deployment, uh, we should be good. That needs to be max sec. Uh, this needs to be staff only. We don't want anyone going in there. And exports needs to be staff only. And of course, this area also needs to be staff only. This could be shared. This is all staff only uh, because there's a power generator in there. And there's no access there, but it's staff only. Okay, all the smoking corridors and back alleys and stuff are definitely staff only. Prisoners can smoke in the yard during designated yard time and at no other time. Okay, I don't even know if you're allowed. Can you buy cigarettes at, uh, at commissary inside prisons now? A days if you've been to prison or you're currently in prison and you're listening to me please let me know i'm interested to know because uh, i have no idea but at the same time you know it's, it's not vital that i know either all right we've got this workshop up and running which means now that we should be able to get some people working in it possibly uh we have zero qualified prisoners but there's 20 available jobs here Oh my god, that's what you get for having a big workshop. Look at that. All the people that can work here. None of them are qualified yet. We're going to have to run some programs. It's meltdown hour. Everybody is up. Everybody's in the shower. Soresby is probably being carted off to solitary as we speak. Or he's in here complaining. Uh, it's very unusual that Soresby uh, lasts long enough to make it to eat time. Um, unless he might be dead. Is Soresby dead? I mean, I don't see him anywhere. He's not causing the usual problems uh, that he would be by now anyway. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. He has needs for food, family, and recreation. And it looks like a tase has occurred elsewhere in the prison. I'm not quite sure where yet, uh, but it's definitely happened. Oh, you know what? We probably have enough money to actually uh, fix the canteen in here. There we go. Good God. Just as somebody gets tased. Unbelievable. All right concrete floor this is going to be nice it's going to be uh, needed as well because this place looks like a pigsty um ignoring all of the like weird fungus and shit that's growing here because of our lack of you know what we're going to actually need a couple more janitors these guys are not keeping up with all of this stuff we definitely need some more perfect all right we are laying some new floor in the canteen um again it's much needed I think that's probably... Oh, we need a new floor in here, too. All right, let's fix this floor in the shop, too. Anywhere else needed in the shop? No. I think that that's probably the last, uh, except for here. That's probably the last of the destruction caused by the explosion and fire of 2016. If you can believe that. Uh, that's good. We're in good shape. All right, so uh, this class should run here. Um, so to qualify them, we need to start a program for workshop safety induction. There's 29 people interested in this. Unbelievable. All right, let's do it. Uh, workshop safety induction. We have four people currently uh, on this, and they range from this guy to this guy and also him. And whoever this is as well. Nice. I think this might be on right now, actually. 
We've got an 11 to 1 and a 1 to 3. Uh, that's possible. So we're going to run two programs for this. We want to get as many people as we can qualified to do this. Um, so that they can start really pumping out the license plates. We're going to need a lot of them. And it's going to be fantastic. And we have 96 people here. And not all of them have jobs either. Uh, the more of these guys that we can put to work, the better. Because uh, then they'll have more time of to work and less time to kill each other in um, novel new ways that only they can think up which is just the worst actually i hate that uh okay so let us go for uh something like this i guess we're gonna do this 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 it's only 560 per cell here for some reason i'm not sure why but there you go uh that should be fine we have a whole bunch of new max sec cells hopefully it's stayed max sec it has perfect are these guys actually in here they are i can't believe it Look at the foreman himself is down here, and he's teaching these guys how to do woodworking. If only Jesus were, was in this prison right now, because he, of course, uh, knows a thing or two about woodworking and furniture making, and he could probably come in here and not only teach these four dudes how to um, perform the tricks of the trade, but maybe also give them a little bit of inner peace, which I think is sorely lacking inside SummerSlam these days. You know, he could preach the values of inner peace to all of these dudes. Um, and then, you know, maybe they could come to grips with the fact that they are indeed in here for a long ass time uh, with um, all of these guards and these workmen and the uh, loving, caring staff as well. Oh, look, the foreman is unable to research anything during this time. That's crazy, isn't it? Um, tax relief is probably a pretty good one that we can look at getting at some point. Uh, it takes advantage of government tax incentives and reduces your effective corporation tax to just 15%. That's pretty good. You will save 1,500 taxes per 10,000 of daily profit. So um, that's a way of sort of upping our daily cash flow. Cost 10 grand to do. Uh, and it's something that we'll probably do once we accept many more prisoners in and make much more money off uh, license plates and stuff. What was the other thing we wanted to do? Oh yeah, it was forestry, wasn't it? What the hell is that, forestry? Uh, it needs to be a five by five outdoor room. Um, and ideally, I guess we want to make it like staff only. I guess we could put it like in the corner here. Plant a couple of trees, chop them down and export those trees. It'd be nice. Does that work? Logistics. Okay, fine. I don't know what's going to happen here. Hopefully somebody just comes out and starts planting trees. And they grow and they chop them down and sell the wood. That's what I'm hoping happens. We'll have to see. I don't know if we actually need to put anything in here or not. Like, do we need... Is there? Are there any objects relating to forestry? It doesn't look like it. A sorting desk? No. Okay. Let's just leave it like that and just see what happens. What did somebody just find? I'm not even sure. God. Oh! Oh! Hey, look at this! It's Sean Cantifer. He's 21 years old. He's had five days without incident. Look at this. His concentration is excellent. His understanding is good. He's got 8% attendance. And his success chance is rising. It's 20% right now. He needs a bit of privacy. And you know what's really seeing him through here? He's fearless. Man. Sean Cantifer. My hat goes off to you, you son of a bitch. You are the hero of the whole prison. Can you believe this guy? That's crazy. He's going to do it. He's going to make us 40 grand. Oh, and somebody was early released as well. This is fantastic. Oh, shit. Okay, this workshop can be beefed up now because we have a little bit more money, right? So we're going to get a couple more saws in here. Like uh, another saw at least. Another press at least. And what, another table, too? I mean, we gotta make this. This thing has to pump out this stuff like there's no tomorrow. Like, we really want to see just like a whirlwind of productivity happening in this workshop at all times. And if that means spending a lot of money on getting some fancy flooring in here, so be it. If these guys can prove to me that they can make the big ones uh, for SummerSlam, then I'm all for it. But until that time, they're going to have to deal with what is going on. Chafer? Chafer is having some sort of fucking massive jonesing session for the drugs. All right. You know what? He's going to solitary. He's twitching all over the damn place. He's 
talking about drugs. He's making a big fucking ruckus about the drugs and stuff. We're going to have to send him to solitary for six hours to think about it. Um, and we should probably also recommend that he takes the... Um, oh, shit. Do these need to be connected? What is connected to what right now? We have... Let me just come out of here. These ones are should be connected to... Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, these are the medium security ones, which means that we have to attach to these ones here. Okay, perfect. So let's do that. We're going to attach them one by one. Apparently, there's another way of doing this, but I'm not sure what it is. I'm too scared to learn. So I'm just going to do this the only way I know how, and that's manually. It's quite satisfying to do as well. Okay, once again... Uh, most of the max sec phones are tapped, but there is still a couple of phones out in the yard here that could be tapped, that we are definitely going to tap. And there. Tapping complete. Excellent. All right. Man, this is great. This is running pretty good. It's day 33. We got 95 inmates. We have capacity for 107. Uh, maximum security currently only has 27 dudes. I guess one of them was released on parole, if you can believe that. Most of these maximum security guys are fucking murderers. So I'm not sure how they're getting released on parole, but one of them has anyway. We've got capacity for 10 more max sec guys. Uh, and we have capacity for one more, uh, normal or medium, um, security. However you want to look at them. Uh, and there are two people turning up. Uh, tomorrow for some reason and I, I don't know how that even makes sense oh i see okay. all right now there's only one person arriving <laughs> tomorrow what the fuck that's crazy that's so weird uh shit you know what I, I forgot to do as well we have this um we have a couple of spare radiators here we need to make sure that uh these guys are getting cold i mean it's a hot day it's 24 degrees um so they're not getting cold but I'm sure we need a radiator at least up here. Um, and we're probably going to need one in here too. Um, and hopefully that'll be enough to keep uh, cell blocks warm. And the workshop is probably going to need one too, surprisingly. Uh, even though there's going to be the steady hum of industry happening in here, uh, we are definitely going to need uh, to heat up the room because we don't want these guys getting cold hands. Uh, while they're working uh, because cold hands could lead to chopped off fingers and that is not something we want happening ever in this prison. It's bad enough that people are dying all the damn time. Um, having them also losing fingers and limbs and whatnot is terrible and we don't want that to happen at all. Uh, which means that we're going to have to run the water pipe down uh, some ways anyway. And we're going to hook up this tank with cold water. Because I think you have to do that. I'm not even too sure you do have to. We're going to do it anyway. And then we're going to run some hot water into... I'm pretty sure I put it there. I did. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Oh, yeah. We need to power these uh, bad boys up too. While they're down here doing this stuff. Power up these new bad boys. And it's likely that we're going to get some more. So let's just put some power there just um, to anticipate that as well. Holy shit. Excellent. Hey. We found some contraband cigarettes inside a box filled with lettuce. Or is it cabbages? I'm not sure. Um, but luckily, our boys in blue managed to stop that from entering the prison. And somebody is going to be spared lung cancer as a result. Which is good. I mean, holy shit. That's the last thing these guys need. They're meant to be serving time in here. Um, because uh, of crimes that they've committed. And people fully expect them to serve the maximum amount of time as well. Like, nobody's getting off easy, right? Like, we don't want anyone just, like, popping their clogs uh, prematurely when they haven't fully served their time. Because that would be terrible. Alright, I'm going to run some hot water to these things as well. Keep the temperature up. It's just one more thing these guys can complain about. Currently, we're not doing too bad. We have two prisoners who have been calmed recently. 19 prisoners with serious complaints. That's not bad considering there's 95 dudes in here. Three prisoners who are shackled in their cells or in solitary. 12 prisoners who are suppressed but compliant. Two armed guards are in service. That's good. Two punishments have been handed down, which is a deterrent. Five prisoners have been unnecessarily searched recently, which reminds me we probably need to do a shakedown. Next time, all of these beautiful princesses go to bed. Um, but that's fine. Uh, it's mainly just to find tunnels. And uh, the tunnels seem to really sort of come from 
uh, medium security. Not so much maximum security. In fact, I don't think we found a single tunnel in maximum security as of yet, which is pretty good. Great. It is um, heading into the evening of day 33. I don't think we've had a single incident today. We've gotten the workshop set up, uh, and it looks like people are happily um, going through the safety induction. We've got seven people who have passed, which means that we should now have seven people qualified to actually work in the workshop. Um, so tomorrow, uh, during the day when it's work time, uh, this place should be uh, buzzing with people making license plates. Uh, for now, they just have stacks of sheet metal to work with, but uh, we should make some money. And holy shit, forestry is coming online. Look at that. Um, some trees have been planted, which means that hopefully when they're fully grown and ready to go, they will be chopped down and we can export the wood for sweet money. And hopefully, maybe one day realize the dream of having a minsec wing across the road, because that would be really, really fantastic. Holy shit. Crazy. Um... I just thought to need to get some lights here too. Look, I have so many lights in this place. I love it though. <laughs> I love I love all the extra lights. Makes me feel good. Uh, just when I look and I see that everything is really well lit. Lighting is so important. It really affects everything. Your mood, everything. Like it, especially when you're romancing. You know, if you're planning on getting romantic with somebody, you want to make sure that the lighting is right. Similarly, in a prison. You also want to make sure that the lighting is right, not only for romance, but for capital punishment as well. So there's that. Excellent. All right. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Join me next time where hopefully we make some license plates. Um, and we can probably look at um, increasing the prisoner capacity and hopefully uh, in due course sort out this wing because it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, MaxSec I'm pretty happy with actually. And uh, we'll start working on a new Minsec wing as well. And, of course, we need to make the uh, death chamber as well, the electric chair. So that should be good. We'll need a death row and stuff. Uh, and we can also look at maybe getting Supermax set up at some point as well. I think we're going to have to go down this legal route for all of that. Because, look, death row, yeah, legal prep, legal defense, reduce execution liability. Uh, all of this stuff costs money, but... With the license plates and forestry coming online, we should be making money. Man, SummerSlam is huge now. Look at the size of it. Holy shit. We've been really beavering away at this. It's been like hit and miss at some points, but it seems to be working okay now. Uh, so that's good. Right. Excellent. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.